1번 다음을 듣고 여자가 하는 말의 목적으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Good morning, students. This is your vice principal, Ms. Morris. I want to inform you that each class period will be reduced from 50 minutes to 40 minutes next Tuesday. Due to the parent-teacher conferences that will be held on that day, school will end one hour earlier than usual. You'll still take the same classes that you normally would on that day. The starting and ending bells will ring according to the reduced class time schedule. Once again, please keep in mind that next Tuesday's class periods will be shortened by 10 minutes each. Thank you. 2번 대화를 듣고 남자의 의견으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Honey, I was thinking about asking our daughter to sign up for drama camp this winter. What do you think? Hmm, why do you want her to participate in drama camp? I think drama camp is helpful for gaining diverse perspectives. How will the camp help her with that? In the camp, She'll play different types of characters. This can help her see things from others' perspectives. That makes sense. Also, she'll be expected to listen to other kids while collaborating with them. Oh, that could help her broaden her views. Right. So, participating in drama camp is helpful for obtaining various perspectives. Okay, then let's suggest it to her. 3번. 다음을 듣고 여자가 하는 말의 요지로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hello, viewers. I'm Kate, and welcome back to my channel, Art Pier 25. Have you ever felt like you couldn't understand the artwork in a museum? If so, here's a simple tip for understanding artists' work better. Knowing about the artists can deepen your appreciation of their work. Art is often a reflection of their feelings and thoughts. Therefore, by exploring their lives and experiences, you can see what influenced their work. So, the next time you go to an art museum, why not explore the artist's backgrounds first? Once you know about the artists, you'll be able to have a better understanding of their work. I hope this helps. 4번. 대화를 듣고 그림에서 대화의 내용과 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Hi, Sarah. What are you doing? I'm looking at a picture that I took last weekend. Do you want to take a look? Sure. I see a flea market sign hanging from the tree. I was selling some of my old stuff at the flea market. Oh, I like the crown-shaped balloon the girl is holding. She's my daughter. Hey, do you remember that stripe pattern tent? Of course. That's the one I gave you. Oh, there are three vases on the table. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to sell them. I guess people weren't interested in them. Yeah, people were more interested in the speaker on the chair, even though it wasn't for sale. I turned on music to attract customers. I see. Looks like you had a busy weekend. 5번. 대화를 듣고 남자가 할 일로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hey, Brian. The Playful Cat Photo Contest is only two days away. 
That's right, Lisa. Many students are excited about our club's contest. Yeah. Let's check the preparations we've done so far. All right. I checked our email and confirmed that all the participants had submitted their photos. Great. I'll print them out tomorrow. Okay. What about the bulletin board in the school lobby? We'll need it to post the photos on. Don't worry. I already got permission to use it. Have you ordered stickers yet? Yes. I ordered enough for everyone to use when voting for their favorite photos. Good. What about the trophy for the winner? It's at my house. I'll bring it tomorrow. Thanks. I think we're all set. Welcome to Kamuk Traditional Village. How can I help you? Hi. I'd like to buy admission tickets for my family. Is there a discount for senior citizens? Yes. Regular tickets are $30 each, and senior tickets are $20 each for people over 65 years old. Good. My parents are in their 70s. So I'll take two regular tickets and two senior tickets. Great. Would you also like lunch tickets? We serve traditional local food. It's $25 per person. I'd love that. Is the lunch ticket cheaper for senior citizens? No. I'm sorry. It's the same price. Ah, uh, okay. I'll buy four lunch tickets as well. All right. So you want two regular tickets and two senior tickets with four lunch tickets, right? That's right. Here's my credit card. Hey, John. Come and look at this poster. Hi, Sharon. The Streamline Broadcasting Workshop? What's that? It's a student workshop that offers an opportunity to connect with experts in broadcasting. How about going together? Oh, it's on Friday. I wish I could, but I can't. Why not? Is your dance club's performance on that day? No, the performance is next month. Then is your little brother's birthday party on Friday? No, it was last week. I got him a hat as a present. So why can't you go to the workshop? Actually, I'm going to see a baseball game on that day. I have tickets for that game. Oh, I see. I hope your team wins. 8번. 대화를 듣고 아웃스탠딩 악터퍼시즈 행사에 관해 언급되지 않은 것을 고르시오. Honey, did you hear that the local aquarium is holding an event called Outstanding Octopuses? Outstanding Octopuses? What's it for? The purpose of the event is to promote World Octopus Day. Sounds interesting. What programs does the event have? There are several programs. They include exhibiting various octopuses from the Pacific Ocean and showing a documentary about how to protect them. Really? Let me search for more information on my phone. Oh, it's sponsored by the Aqua Life Council. I'm glad that they're helping people realize how remarkable these creatures are. I agree. The event started on October 4th and will end on December 8th. Good. We still have a lot of time to visit. You're right. Let's make plans to go soon. 
9번 2024 그랜드 버터플라이 서커스에 관한 다음 내용을 듣고 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Hello, listeners. Are you looking for something fun to do with your family? Well, we're pleased to announce that the 2024 Grand Butterfly Circus is coming to town. It'll run for five days from November 15th to 19th. The circus starts at 8 p.m. each night at City Square. It includes a spectacular magic show, high rope walking, and juggling. Admission tickets are $35 per person, and children under two years old are admitted for free. Tickets are available online as well as on site. You can download a discount coupon on the circus website. If you want the best seats, please come early because there are no assigned seats. Join us for a breathtaking night of excitement for you and your family. 10번 다음 표를 보면서 대화를 듣고 여자가 구입할 식물 씨앗 키트를 고르시오. Jason, what's that in your hand? It's a flyer from the neighborhood flower shop, Mom. Oh, they're selling plant seed kits. I want one. Can you help me choose? Sure. I don't think you need the most expensive kit since it's your first try. Right. But I'd like some variety. So at least four kinds of plants would be nice. Okay. What about the pots? They come in different materials. I don't want the ceramic one. It'll be too heavy for me. Good point. I think the one that comes with a plant growing guide would be helpful for you. Yes, I can easily find out how to grow plants. Then this seed kit is perfect for you. Thanks for helping me. I'll buy that one. 11번. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Jane, have you ordered a cake for our tennis coach's farewell party next week? Yes, I ordered a walnut cake with pistachio nuts on top. I'll pick it up next Wednesday afternoon from the bakery. Oh, no. I should have told you that he's allergic to all kinds of nuts. 12번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Honey, the hotel offers a free yoga class on the beach to the guests. Do you want to go with me tomorrow morning? Oh, really? I definitely want to try yoga, but I'm afraid we might be the only beginners. Don't worry. This class is for true beginners who have never done yoga before. So why don't we take it? 13번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hi, Rachel. What's up? Hi, Kevin. Do you have any plans for next weekend? No, I'm free. Why do you ask? The city transportation office is hosting a bike auction at their parking lot. Do you want to check it out together? Sounds like fun. Are they selling new bicycles? No, they're selling used bikes. People have donated them for a good cause. What's the cause? I heard all the money they raise will be used to support youth sports clubs. Oh, really? 
then I'd like to contribute to the auction. Actually, I have a bike that I don't ride anymore. That's great. Just make sure it's in a good enough condition to be sold. Not to worry. It's only been used two or three times. Hello, Dr. Wilson speaking. Hello, this is Glenn Scott from the Organizing Committee of the National Science Talent Competition. Hi, Mr. Scott. How can I help you? I'm calling to see if you would be a judge for this year's competition. Thanks. I'd be happy to take part in it again. When is the competition? It starts on December 9th and continues for three days. Oh, no. I have a meeting to attend on December 9th. Is there any chance that you can change the date of your meeting? I really want to have you as a judge. I'm afraid I can't answer that right now. When can you let me know? I can wait a couple of days. I'll let you know by the end of the day. Sophia and Jack are sister and brother. They are going to their favorite singer's concert tonight. The concert starts at 7 p.m., and since it takes an hour to get to the concert, Jack proposes that they leave their house at 6 p.m. While this is Jack's first time going to a concert, Sophia has been to several concerts. She knows that even after they arrive at the concert site, it takes a long time to go through the security line and get to their seats. Also, she wants to take pictures and stop by the gift shops before the concert. So, Sophia wants to suggest to Jack that they should leave for the concert much earlier than he proposed. In this situation, what would Sophia most likely say to Jack? Hello, students. As you know, we may be facing serious food shortages down the road. So, today let's talk about foods that are appropriate for dealing with food shortages in the future. First, seaweed is cost efficient because it doesn't take up land or need to be watered. It not only contains lots of minerals and vitamins, but also can be used to make diverse types of dishes. Second, beans are adapted to growing in a wide range of environments, from ocean shores to mountain slopes. Plus, they offer us a rich source of fiber and protein. Third, pumpkins grow large, and their leaves and flowers can be consumed as well. These precious parts are often thrown away, but they are a good source of nutrients and flavor. Finally, mushrooms grow all year round, and where many other foods would not. They are very affordable and rich in various nutrients. Now, let's watch a video demonstrating the value of these foods. Hello, students. As you know, we may be facing serious food shortages down the road. So, today let's talk about foods that are appropriate for dealing with food shortages in the future. First, seaweed is cost efficient because it doesn't take up land or need to be watered. It not only contains lots of minerals and vitamins, 
but also can be used to make diverse types of dishes. Second, beans are adapted to growing in a wide range of environments, from ocean shores to mountain slopes. Plus, they offer us a rich source of fiber and protein. Third, pumpkins grow large, and their leaves and flowers can be consumed as well. These precious parts are often thrown away, but they are a good source of nutrients and flavor. Finally, mushrooms grow all year round, and where many other foods would not. They are very affordable and rich in various nutrients. Now, let's watch a video demonstrating the value of these foods. 16번 여자가 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것은 17번 언급된 음식이 아닌 것은 이제 듣기 문제가 끝났습니다. 18번부터는 문제지의 지시에 따라 답을 하시기 바랍니다.